Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from Brewery de Mollen from Holland and it's their Americans. See that there? Bottle, lovely cap. Let's get it open into a glass. See what it looks like, smells like, pours like. It's been very generous, it's filled right to the top. Now, as you would expect from a beer from the Mullen and with the word Americans on the back, it's going to be a very, very hoppy beer. It's 4.5% ABV. I can smell from here it's generously hopped. Colour. So one finger white sort of a fire extinguisher foam on there, nice levels of carbonation on the beer there. Get the nose. Oh yeah, and that that is pungent pink grapefruit in abundance, with a slightly grassy, spicy nose there as well. Plenty of citrus, lemon. peach. It's like a tropical fruit drink. Let's dig into this beer. Cheers everybody. And it certainly does follow in that, that is a fantastic American style pale ale, it really is. The bitterness on the finish is just superb. But to begin with, it's these hop, classic American hop flavours. I think there's Amarillo in here, there's Cascade, Centennial maybe. Been dry hopped, top fermented. Oh, there we are, yeah, this um, uh, Amarillo Sladek Amarillo. There we are, but it's, it's for 4.5%, it's exactly what you want. We're having record temperatures here in the UK, it's just March, it's only March 2012. We're having record temperatures. And to pack as many flavours in this beer as they've been able to do is just, well, it's a wonderful thing, really. It really is full of flavour for 4.5%. The quality of the water comes out as well. That more or less comes out first for me. The, the mouthfeel is, is like a good quality stilled water you would buy on the sh bottled water from a shelf it's that kind of mouth feel and then you get this explosion of first of all not an explosion but you get a nice multi sweet multi backbone and then the middle is the middle in the end is filled with grapefruit peach uh, what Pale stone fruits. It's slightly spicy. I always pick up a slightly spicy feel to these pale ales and IPAs as well. It really is the. This is the business. When you're drinking the beer, a beer like this, which is absolutely jam-packed with flavour. As you're taking a mouthful, inhale at the same time. 
inhale them aromas, take the full, the full hit, the full effect of this beer. So you're, you're smelling it, you're tasting it, it's just divine, absolutely divine. Let's wash the beer out. Get our noses in. Oh yeah, and that is just that is just a whack, a whack of citrus. But the kind of uh, the Amarillo hop used. I did a big nine percent American IPA. Uh, I think it was a triple, like a Belgium triple style beer. That was the Amarillo used in that beer. It was just so so. You, you kind of got the the idea that it was it was Amarillo, and it was my first guess with this one as well. This hop, you, you more or less guess that this the Amarillo hop used. Um, right, okay. Let me give their website out if they've got one. www.brewerydemolin.nl. Check these guys out. Original handcrafted beers. There you go. Check them out. Well worth a go. At this stage of the review, I don't think I mentioned it. I did a trade with Real Early 140 on Twitter. I traded him a bottle of Rochefort 10 for this beer. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. This is it's the perfect weather. It's not often I get outside on my own to review a beer. I'm normally stuck just down there in the kitchen. But I think you've got to make the most of the weather you really have. I think we're going to have a wonderful summer. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be able to drink three or four of these at 4.5% with the barbecue on. It's a wonderful beer, so time for the rating. It really is something extraordinary. If this, I'm talking here, March 2012, we are in the middle of a craft beer boom. Still hasn't hit the mainstream lager drinker, I don't think, just yet. But I would be so surprised, and I'd be willing to put my house on it, that this will take on. This style of beer has to take on. Really has. Just had a curry, just finishing our, finished the curry, Thought I'd come out and do review this beer, and it's gone so well, so so well. For that reason, rating-wise, I'm gonna give this an eight, eight out of ten from the Real Ale Guide. It's just really, really nice, really, really nice beer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like. Put your comments in the comments box, and cheers.